guys, good morning. Nothing like a little DIY project to get you going for the day. So we got back from school drop off and got ready for the day. And now I'm gonna do some, you know, spend some time working in the basement. We got the doors, the majority of the doors installed uh, over the weekend. So I'm gonna work on just cleaning up really, getting rid of all of the boxes from the flooring and all the shims they had to cut and just like sweeping and generally just tidying up down here so we can get all of that out. We have family coming to stay with us yet again, which is wonderful. That is one of the perks of having a space for them to stay is now we can host overnight guests and you know welcome anybody that needs a place to stay. Like I said, we got all of the um, trim. So this is for like around the doors and um, basically the doors. And then this is the trim for the baseboards. And I have laundry going and it's not too loud because now it's behind doors, which is awesome. But yeah, it's a big, big mess down here. I gotta do something with all these buckets from like grouting and stuff like that. And then that was my little painting setup that I can clean. And then all these boxes need to just be kind of like folded up or just brought out like that. I don't know. All the flooring scraps, just general tidying. And then we didn't start on any of the baseboards last night. So we're hoping to do that um, today, possibly. I might start on it myself. It kind of depends on how the day goes. So I got my little helper here and we're gonna start cleaning up. So I did just get this door back on. It's really not terribly heavy. It was not difficult at all. I just shimmed it in place and I got my brass hinges back on. I think I told you guys about that. These were original to this door, but they were covered in paint. So I uh, stripped off the paint and cleaned them up. But one of them was nickel. I, don't, I can't remember, I shared this on Instagram. This one was actually nickel. So I painted it with a little bit of brass paint. But I mean, they basically look exactly the same. You really wouldn't know. Um, but obviously everything needs to be cleaned up. All the edges, we'll, you know, trim it out and we're gonna clean it all up. We do need to finish this flooring though. Hmm, maybe I'll do that first so that I don't accidentally throw away the wood that we need to do it or the, you know, the vinyl. Okay, standing on the stairs, this is how it looks before. And this is an hour later. Got pretty much everything cleaned up or at least tidied up. Did a quick sweep. I didn't mop or anything because it's gonna get dusty again when we do all the moldings, but that looks great. And then I also pulled up this load of laundry from the dryer that was there from last night. So I'm gonna fold it. I have another load that I washed and it you know, was done in the time that I was doing this. So now that's in the dryer and we're just gonna head upstairs. Uh, maybe do like a little bit of pre-k. Lyra wasn't feeling it this morning, so I said, that's fine. I'm gonna go do a little tidy in the basement. I'm gonna shut this Bilco door up to the outside and we'll head up. Okay, so this is really unfortunate. In here, I have a rack of ribs that I was hoping to make for dinner tonight. I was about to start to like marinate it and I opened it up and they did not smell good. They weren't from Aldi, they were actually from our local grocery store, but they smelled, so I just put them in this bag because I didn't want to smell them. So I might go and try to return them. That's not something I normally would do, but they were kind of pricey and I've been looking forward to making these. We were gonna make them over the weekend, but then you know, plans changed and we wound up hanging out with family. I think I might go and try to return them. I don't have a receipt though from it. I think I literally just cleared out my purse yesterday and threw it away. So hopefully they will let me. If not, no big deal. I'll just buy, you know, another rack. So since we're gonna be heading to the grocery store at the time we would be sitting down to eat lunch, I just packed some lunch for Lara and Luke. And these are the um, easy lunch boxes. I got these new this year, just on Amazon, a pack of four. And they're really convenient now that I'm doing very often like three lunches at a time. And they fit in the, um, the lunch boxes really well. They're not totally watertight, so I don't put anything like yogurt or applesauce or anything in the individual sections. I'll have a separate container for something like that. But for this, um, it just works really well and it's convenient, it's easy, like it's just one container instead of like a bunch of little ones. It did come from Amazon though with this chip in the corner. 
which is kind of a bummer, but it doesn't affect the functionality at all. So whatever, it is what it is. And right, what'd you find here? What was this one? That's a little bit tricky. That was. What's this first letter? Yeah, what's that letter? F. Not an F, because it doesn't have the little curve. It's a T, that's right. And then what's that one? O. O. What? Two, which I know is a little bit confusing. So like going to the store. Okay, before we head out, I'm just stripping off my bed sheets and I'm gonna throw them in and put a new set on. So that is done for the day. And maybe when we get back, I'll throw the girls in as well. And Luke's, I change his pretty frequently, um, but I might just throw that in today too. All right, bed is made. I'll go throw those in. I also finished the book I was reading, and I'm about to start this one. I haven't actually started it yet. Uh, this was on my summer reading list. I never got to it. It's the author of Big Little Lies, which they turned into a TV show, which I've never seen. I know nothing about. I don't even know what the premise is, but I just know that she is famous for that show. But I'm kind of excited, to be honest, to get back into reading something that's just purely for um, entertainment. I mean, the other book was great. I, I recommend it. It was really good, especially if you have kids in like high school or college, especially that's like the primary focus is um, sort of like colleges and the, the thinking, the like ideologies that are kind of being promoted. Anyways, good book. So for me, this is like the equivalent of just like sitting down and watching a Netflix show or something is to read just like pure entertainment. I love mysteries and stuff like that. So I'm excited to, to uh, dive into that. And what do you have there that is now all over your face? Is that my lotion? Yeah. Yeah, that's not for your mouth, my love. Place item on scan. One, two, 29. Item two, six, savings. Okay, we were able to make our exchange. They did allow me to return it because of using like your store card. They had the information of when I bought it, how much I paid for it. They could match up the barcode. So I was able to exchange it and get a new rack. They didn't have the brand that I had purchased last time. They were all out of it. So I had to just purchase a different brand, but that's okay. It was actually slightly cheaper. So that worked out. Um, and then we just grabbed a couple other things. Um, I can show you when I get home. Flour was on sale, so I grabbed a couple bags of flour. But now the kids are having their lunch in the car and we'll head to go get Evie in a little bit. We just got home and there's a turkey vulture on our front yard. We get these all the time. I don't know if that's a New Jersey thing or what, but they're harmless, but they're pretty cool. Okay, we're back. I am finishing off the last of the chicken salad that I made and just put away um, what I got, I just got like fruit, um, pears, oranges, bananas. Um, I also got two things of flour. It was on sale for 99 cents, so I grabbed two. I also got just a gallon of milk, a dozen eggs, um, some Stoke cold brew, and the ribs, and some cheese, because we're gonna make mac and cheese to go with um, the ribs tonight, and some coleslaw mix to make for tonight, so. Um, all that's put away. I'm going to go grab what's in the dryer and fold it, switch over the bedding, and um, Luke is down for his nap. I just gave him a bath and put him down. It's a little later than he usually would, so hopefully he still gets a good nap. Um, he usually is pretty good about it, so I just don't want him to sleep too late, that's all. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just spend a little time cleaning up the kitchen, cleaning up the dining room, putting away lunch boxes, and just do a little tidying. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for the afternoon. I do need to look up the rib recipe, see what I have to do if I need to marinate it, how long I should do that, if I should start that now. So I'll look into that. Okay, dining room table's cleared off, cleared off the island. I washed what was in the sink and I'm running the dishwasher. So I'm going to go ahead and make an iced coffee or prepare one. So we went to a really cute coffee shop yesterday and Dan and I both didn't finish ours. So we combined them and I'm going to have that today. I'm just going to put some fresh ice. I think it'll be okay. It tastes fine. And then uh, the girls just picked me some figs from our fig tree is still producing. So I do something with those, but I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the um, ribs for tonight. Um, we used a recipe from, um, her name's Jenny Jones, and it's the 
same Jenny Jones from the talk show back in the day in the 90s. Uh, we used her recipe back in April during beta, you might have remembered. Um, it turned out really great. So that's the recipe I'm going to use again. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to prep all that now and then um, just keep switching laundry, you know, working on that. I stripped the girls' beds and so I think I'm going to actually put on their flannel sheets. Sorry if that's really loud. Um, I think I might as well, like it's getting pretty chilly at night. So uh, instead of, you know, waiting for those to be done, to put back on the cotton ones, I'll just switch it to the flannels and then throw in their sheets and Luke's sheet. He is napping, they are outside, it's a gorgeous day. Okay, ribs are in. Those take two and a half hours, so I went ahead and put them in so that they'll be ready for dinner. What do I need? What am I doing here? 2.30, right? Start. All right, dishwasher's still going. I'm gonna go work on laundry. So these just came in from Amazon. Copper Creek is the seller that we got the handle for the bathroom from we're going with chrome for the basement so this one is the only one that we have that you know can lock from the inside so we only needed one privacy door the rest of them are just i believe they call them passage doors so they just turn but there's no locking mechanism so these were like eight dollars each maybe nine dollars and then we needed dummy knobs, which is this style, which is just literally like a pull for doors that don't need any sort of locking mechanism. You're literally just like pulling it open and shut. So we needed that for the storage doors and the laundry doors behind me. We needed, what, two, four, six of them. Um, and the ones from this brand, for whatever reason, were like $15 each. They were more expensive than the full set so we wound up getting these from quick set and they basically look exactly the same with like that rounded um they call this colonial on the copper creek uh page but basically exactly the same but just a dummy knob that you can pull there the doors are magnetic so that's how they close um so all those came in hopefully we can get those installed the um double doors didn't have the holes already bored for handles but the single doors did so like over here technically i could go ahead and put them in but i'm not going to focus on that now i'm going to get this laundry put in and fold what is in uh, the dryer and get that done i did have some people ask me like why we're not continuing the floors into here um mainly because I'm not quite sure how this flooring will hold up to things that are very heavy. So like our washer and dryer. And then we have a like, you know, utility sink back here that is super, super heavy. So I was afraid that this would get pierced by the heaviness and like the feet of that sink. And um, maybe like the joints would come apart. I don't know. So to be safe, we decided just to stop it here and we're gonna either paint the concrete in here or i might do some kind of like um linoleum tiles like square tiles i've seen really cute um versions of that it basically looks like like an old like elementary school like a school flooring or like kind of like speckly and i've seen people do like a checkerboard pattern and it's really really cute so i'm thinking of doing that in there we also might be changing the sink that's in there. We may not keep that one, or we might. We're not quite sure yet. The whole laundry space is a work in progress. So rather than go through the hassle of continuing this flooring into there, taking everything out, moving the sink, which is like bolted to the wall, um, we said we'll just stop it at the door and we'll deal with a different flooring in there whenever we're ready to to really make this room a little bit more finished. But for now, we can just close the door and we don't have to see what's going on in there. Okay, 17 minutes left on the ribs. I'm just working on the cheddar cheese sauce for my mac and cheese. Get my water going, just gonna do um, rigatoni. And this is just a little flour and butter and milk. 
and then I put in a eight ounce block of um, cheddar and a little salt and that's it it's really really easy and then I'm going to also work on I'm gonna take this off um, gonna make some coleslaw also to go along with um, this dinner, I bought just the bag of shredded like cabbage and carrot, and I just need to look up a quick coleslaw, um, you know, sauce. I also used up the last of my flour, so I'm gonna empty this out and wash it, wash the lid, wash the spoon, and then I refill it with a fresh uh, five-pound bag. All right, so here's how the ribs turned out: mac and cheese. I got coleslaw. Looks delish. Okay, girls' beds are made. These are their flannels. They came from um, Bed Bath & Beyond last year. I forget the name of the brand. It's like something in B, B and something. Um, but they're gorgeous. I love them. Um, and they're perfect for this time of year. All right, so I think I'm gonna call it a vlog here. Dinner was delicious. I will say that when Dan made them last time, they were even better because he made his own barbecue sauce and I just used stuff from you know, a bottle. So his were better, but they were still delicious. And we may work on the molding tonight. That's the plan. So um, I'm gonna have to leave you on a cliffhanger. You'll see it tomorrow because I'm gonna edit this vlog to have it up for tomorrow. And I will be seeing you then. Take care guys. Bye.